Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the first feature event in this evening's program. This event is the Dare Stock. Hydar Construction brings us the number 11 out of Woodbury, Connecticut for Travis Hydar. I was racing in the Junior Outlaw Division because of my age, and I wanted, we wanted to move up to the Senior Outlaws, but I wasn't old enough yet. And we really weren't doing anything special in the Junior Outlaws, like I said. So we made the jump up the street stocks. I mean, going from a nimble, like pretty decent sized tire go-kart to a full body, small tire street stock. And we knew it was gonna be a huge learning curve and mostly on my part for driving. But um, our main goal was really, you know, get some top tens, maybe a top five. We didn't really expect to win. They're green and racing. Richard Sorello in the 33, Randy Higgins in the number 84. I was kind of sleeping on the start. George Bissett actually gave me a huge push down the front stretch. The leader washed up in turn one and two, drove it in, drove it in too deep, I would assume, and uh, I just shot underneath them and didn't really waste any time doing that and got out front. And in no time at all, it is Idar with that number 11 car to quickly move to the front of the class. To me back then, it felt pretty good. It felt like it was on cruise control. To me now, that would have been really bad. <laughs> the car was just not handling, you know, really that well. But as a 14 year old, I thought it was great. So Walker is in the process of getting underneath George Bissett Jr. He does it, could be two for the price of one. He got by Bissett, he gets by Hopkins, and he is in second trying to track down the rookie, Travis Hydar, looking for his first ever Stafford victory on the half mile. There's no question about it. He's got a commanding lead, but there's still plenty of time left. Halfway down and halfway to go. Well, I heard um, Scott Tappy on the radio. I heard him. I was, I kind of tuned everything out and I was just like, like tunnel vision, like this is where I got to, this is where I'm going, I'm not looking back or anything like that. So I glanced back at the beginning, I saw they were battling really hard, so I just kind of, I was focusing forward, I wasn't looking behind me and then I heard him say five to go and I looked in my mirror and there's Johnny Walker. And the lead has almost disappeared, Hydar is only leading by the length of a magic wand. Walker is all over the back bumper makes a bold move for it down into turn three. But Hydar pulls away. A little more giddy up there, Matt, as they come back to the stripe. 11 of 15 now complete. I knew one thing for sure, and that was protect the bottom. That was basically the only thing that was going through my head. It was just protect the bottom, don't overdrive the corner, and just do what I've been doing for the last 10 laps sort of thing. Can he hit the winner's circle in only his fourth time out of the gate? While he's doing that and setting a blistering pace, Walker is trying to reel him in. I did overdrive it in uh, turns uh, three and four. I overdrove it and washed up a little bit and got loose. I just brushed the wall. I didn't really, I didn't really dig into it or anything like that. It was just a light little brush. The nerves were there, of course, because you're going for your first win four races into your rookie season with the defending champion on your bumper. Here's the white flag. This is the most important lap of this young man's career. Yeah, the nerves were still there, but I was still, you know, kept my composure, was able to keep going there. Final time through turn number four. Ladies and gentlemen, another brand new winner, if he can hold on off turn number four, Travis Hydar from Woodbury, Connecticut, will take down his first career victory. I was like, I just won, that just happened. <laughs> I think that was the first thing that was going through my mind. And then I just, you know, you have that adrenaline rush and it hit. And I lost my voice a little bit. I was, I was, I got pretty excited. And there's George Bissett Jr. down there congratulating him. Another graduate from Monday Night Cards. We won! We won! He was the first one that got to my car. None of the Stafford, uh, the Stafford staff or anyone like that. He was the first one in my car and got the window net down. I think he was just as excited, if not more excited than I was. And uh, yeah, that was really cool. Thank you, that was, it was amazing. The car was like, on rails tonight. That, uh, the initial start, we got to the inside and we just ran away with it. It was, it was amazing. I didn't have it going in my mind to where I, I knew off the bat exactly what I was going to say and stuff like that because I didn't expect to win, you know. So I, I kind of pushed the camera guy out of the way a little bit so I could see the side of the car and read them all off. I'd like to thank Superior Comfort, ITS Electric, Chris Jones Roofing and Siding, Hydar Construction, Superior Signs, Eastwood Fine Finishes. If I remember correctly, I think I got everybody.
Uh, Travis, first of all, how old are you? 14. 14 years old, race fans. That was a huge confidence booster because it really, you know, it put into our minds like, hey, like we can, we can hang, we can do this. And we just, you know, gradually started getting better and more consistent and being up there. I think it was when we were loading up the car and I had the trophy in my hand after, you know, we strapped the car down, loaded up the trailer. I had the trophy in my hand. I think it really, like, set in after I went up to the, the press box up there and talked to uh, uh, Scott Running and those guys. Um, I, then it really set in.